Hey, did you see what happened with Yarmer Yager? Yager, 52 years old, the second highest scorer in NHL history, and he's still playing. He's going into the Hockey Hall of Fame. We all know that. There's no doubt. The Hall is now just waiting for him to officially hang up the blades before they can officially open up the doors and welcome him in. The Penguins finally said, you know what? We can't wait anymore to honor him. And what an incredible celebration it was. A fitting tribute to one of the greatest NHL players of all time. A load of legends and Hall of Famers in attendance. Some very funny and very emotional moments. There was even an inadvertent F-bomb dropped on live TV. We're going to roll out the top seven moments from Celebrate 68 Night in a moment. But first... To today's big question. Since Yager is still only playing for Kladno, the team he owns in the Czech Republic, should the Hockey Hall of Fame waive the three-year post-retirement waiting period they usually use before a player is eligible for induction to the Hall? We know he's an absolute lock to go in on his first ballot, no doubt about it. The only player in NHL history with more points than Yager is Wayne Gretzky. The Hall may wait, but the Pens didn't. Yager, their first-round pick in 1990, a winner of back-to-back Stanley Cup titles with them in 91 and 92. Number four on the Pens all-time scoring list behind just Lemieux, Crosby, and Malkin. And what a celebration it was. There were some amazing moments in Celebrate 68. In case you missed it, here now, the top seven moments of the Yarmer Yager Jersey Retirement Celebration. At number seven, wherever Yager goes, so go the traveling Yagers. No less than nine superfans in mullets and the nine NHL jerseys that Yager donned during his 24-year NHL career. Joining me now are the traveling Yagers, and they have something special to tell us. It's a Yager night in Pittsburgh! (laughs) At number six, Following some rather emotional moments during his thank you speech at Center Ice, Yammer Yager found a way to lighten the mood. I want to say thanks to Dominica, my girlfriend. Uh, she's too young to remember I played in Pittsburgh, but I, <laughs> I, But I told her all the stories, so don't worry about it. (laughs) That was good. And number five, speaking of keeping things light, the Pens honored Yager in the pregame skate. No surprise, they wore Yager's jersey with his name and number on the back, but the boys, including Sid, took things a step further. They were all sporting the mullet the Yager made famous during his playing days. And number four, a rather telling moment caught candidly during Sen's practice when Yager and Penn's current great Chris Letang were both mic'd up. I have to say something. What, what's going on? Uh, all my life I wore 68. <laughs> no joke. Hey, not okay. any, you cannot do it anymore. You <laughs> That's like so you got your And it was close. I, obviously, I was not going to take 68, but 58 was close enough. But it would be great for you to sign my jersey that I'm going to wear of during course. the game tomorrow. Yeah, like oh, you got it. You got it. Because you were my guy growing up. That's awesome. At number three, a moment of levity. During the game, Yager was up in the play-by-play booth telling stories when the pens came under fire on the ice. And let's just say Yager got caught up in the moment and forgot they were on live TV. Language barrier. So we were... So, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's genuine. I'm more, I'm more nervous than I play. At number two, the moment the night was all about. The raising of Yarmer Yager's number 68 up into the rafters. The fans on their feet. An amazing moment as Yager and his mom looked on and shed some tears of joy and in sadness as well because they're celebrating this night a year after the passing of Yager's father. And the number one moment to remember from Yarmer Yager's incredible night of celebration, 
a team picture at center ice with the Pens, who just for a moment forgot they were pro hockey players and took a few seconds to behave like fans who were posing for a picture with one of their idols of the game. And then one final lap and a fond farewell and a standing ovation in honor of one of the greatest players in NHL history. Yarmer Yager is going to take a retirement lap. <laughs> and why not? Even though he's not retired, but his jersey is, and this is how he says thank you. What uh, a showman. Yeah. What a beauty. Giving the people what they want. Hardest ticket to get in town.